Mm -hmm. Hello everyone and welcome to another rare unboxing video on this channel. Uh, we are going to be unboxing some sci-fi nerd stuff here. We've got the Orbo in a beautiful little box here. Uh, it's from Ego Moss, it's one of their XL versions. Been wanting this for a long time, it's been sold out forever. The company actually went under quite a few years ago, but uh, what is it, Master Replicas is selling all of their leftover stock and they randomly find stuff in warehouses and list it. We finally got it here. So without further ado, let's get into this. Not the best camera angle, but it's what we got. Again, these are rare. I don't do these very often. We're using a screwdriver to open the box. I know super satisfying for all those people that like that. Oh, we failed. We're failing. I'm not left-handed. Left hand's basically useless after I broke it on a motorcycle accident. And this is the bottom. So I'm not showing the shipping label so you guys don't know where I live. You guys know how that is. Get this out of this beautiful cardboard box here. Yeet that out of existence because we don't need it here. Looks like we got a packing sheet on the front here. We have to check in editing what that showed because I uh, don't need an address. But this is the beautiful box we're looking at here. The Orbel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I did Google the pronunciation, but Orbel. It's the ECV197. I didn't actually know the classification of this ship. But this is one of my favorite sci fi shows of all time now. Um, it's up there with the next generation. Always been a super Star Trek fan. But, uh,. What can we say about the new Star Trek? It's not great. But let's see if we can pop this open here gently. I'm not the most delicate on these. I don't I have all the boxes, but like a little bit of damage. I don't care. I'm not like super collectors here. That was my phone, not yours. Probably my wife telling me she ordered the sandwiches for dinner. And I am going to go pick up. Let's see what we've got in here. We have a beautiful little styrofoam thing. You can check out all the sides. We've got a side profile there. We've got this beautiful just like classification on this. Nothing special on the bottom, but you can see it's Ego Moss here, even though they are out of business. And uh, unfortunately, there are some of the people making some of the better diecast models. Pop this open off the top. And now for an example of how big this thing is in here. I'm a big dude. I am 350 pounds, six foot three. I got huge hands, and this thing's bigger than my hand. So we're looking at front to back here. About ten and a half, I would give that ten and a half inches. Any guy would be happy with that. Wink, wink. Let's see if we can pop this thing out right here. Ooh, it's got some heft to it. This was one of the ones I really, really wanted. The next video of this is going to be unboxing the Resolute Resonante Resonante from uh, the Expanse. I can get my words correctly. So this part is die cast metal. It looks like you've got a few plastic bits on the very top here. Looks like the middle fin here, plastic, plastic, plastic. I swear one of these is metal. It's the top one. The top one is die cast. The bottom two are strapped on here. Uh, we can get a bottom view of this here the best I can. Camera's at an angle. That's how it be. Yeah, this is a very sleek, sleek ship. Absolutely love it. It's got good detail on it. I am not... Um, super ridiculous about the fine details because you can see that some of the grading in here is like minusculely off like m like a millimeter off the slots for it which ego moss has been complained about before and this is actually what i would say one of their better models for getting all the painting on all the raised surfaces for it i am really really impressed by this i really do like it uh looks like there's a little bit of a mist paint in here you can see there's a tiny bit of gray on this side, and there isn't on the inside of that in there. Again, no big deal. Even if you wanted to, you could just take like a razor blade and file that down. Uh, looks like some of their gray is just a little bit more off than some of their other bits. By the way, we do have a thunderstorm rolling in here. The garage door is open, so if you hear some big bangs or nice little static, it's actually pouring rain outside. Uh, it comes with a stand and the mount for this, which we're going to have to figure out. Where this mounts to, I'm assuming the nacelles, but I do not know. Slide this out here. If we check underneath the last foam thing, should be nothing. They're very simple. Again, company's out of business. So unfortunately, you're kind of SOL, and these things are actually getting quite rare and hard to find nowadays. People are upselling these by quite a bit on Amazon and stuff. But put that right there and get that right over there. A screwdriver. I'm gonna double check the measurements here now that's outside the box. Yeah, we're looking at like literally 10 and a half again. We'd all be happy with that. We're looking at three and a quarter across right there. Oh, I love this thing. It is getting windy outside. Should probably shut the garage door. 
Uh, there's a space here that's plugged in right near the garage door that might be getting a little bit wet. Well, if the whole freaking thing shuts off mid-recording, we know why. So, I should look at where they want you to attach this. But uh, all of these plastic bits are quite fragile, actually. I have another Star Trek one of these that is broken on this clamp in two spots, actually. So you need to be really careful with these, especially if you drop them or accidentally do anything like that. But they are all custom fit and shaped to fit snugly on your model, which I really, really love. Uh, this video isn't sponsored or anything. I just, I'm a sucker for sci-fi stuff. And uh, these are some of the better die-cost models you can get. And like I said, unfortunately, the company's out of business. I couldn't even get sponsored by them if I wanted to. I always struggle with their stands to know which way they want me to mount this. This isn't even the stand that's on the front of this. If you look at the front of this, the mount points in the way back. This is dead center on this, which is kind of funny. But these are always angled. And it's like, does it matter? Does it slot in a certain way? And I can never really tell. I just press really hard until snugs all the way into the bottom while being fairly delicate with it and we slide this down here on here just like this and just like that you now have yourself a beautiful orval on a beautiful ship stand uh, again i'm super cautious with it up on the stand i don't want to knock it or knock it over it is quite well balanced um i broke a wheel on this desk and it tipped the whole desk and threw one of the star wars ones off star trek ones off and uh, that's what broke these mounts. So it was a pretty big tumble. It wasn't nothing. Uh, we can compare this one to the Star Trek Enterprise over here uh, from the next generation, the XL size. Uh, this one's obviously much larger, even though the same size. Oh, boy. Cannot slide that that way. Keep you on here. We're going to lift and move. We got one longer, one wider. Very different. Uh, but again, this one's actually painted significantly better than the Star Trek one. This one has a lot of the paint offset, just a little bit. I can go back over there. Uh, this one and the Expanse one are definitely staying on my desk. These are my three favorite shows. Uh, either way, um, hope this helped you decide if you want to spend like the $90 these cost nowadays for the XL version. Uh, they do smell smaller versions over at Master Replicas. Again, not sponsored. I mean, if Master Replica wants to hit me up and send me a bunch of stuff for free, sweet, I would take it because I love all the this nerdy stuff all over the garage. By the way, everyone. That'll be a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Just gonna super professionally move this up here. Again, I'm not a professional unboxer. Whoa, we're fuzzy. Not a professional unboxer. Not a thing I do. I just get cool stuff occasionally. I treat myself to a little, little sum sum. And uh, I like to unbox it sometimes on stream. Super nerdy stuff here. That is super risky. I'm gonna elbow that and break everything. I'll see you all in the next one. Take big out. Imagine the out. Smack it. Rolls off. Oh no. See you guys.